Eight on your side help for soon to be parents. The mother of all baby showers is coming to Tampa, and thousands of new moms and dads to be will flock to the event looking for expert advice on what to expect when their bundles of joy arrive. Well, I went straight to a Tampa General Hospital OBGYN to bust some of the pregnancy myths many new parents are most concerned about. Look, we're at the bell, we're almost there. Racing to the hospital prematurely. Ten minutes, I swear. A lot of parents do because they think roadside baby births are common. Mythbuster, they're not. A lot of people are afraid that they're going to wait too long and have the baby in the car or at home or something like that. Especially for first time moms, that's really rare. Um, labor is a process and it goes on for several hours. So, when do you go? Tampa General Hospital's Dr. Shelley Holstrom told me to follow the 511 rule. Their contractions should be every five minutes, at least lasting in a minute and for an hour. Pain level is what? What's your pain level, honey? Next, Mythbuster. You don't have to schedule your baby's birth to have access to pain meds. The anesthesia team here does the, um, the epidurals, and they're here 24-7. So I actually had a dad once ask when I sent him over to the hospital, or he was asking something like, are they going to be there like after 9 o'clock? I was like, we're here 24-7. And now there are two options for pain management. TGH offers women nitrous oxide or laughing gas which is an inhaled um, anesthesia. And so some people will use that instead of an epidural. And the mother of all baby showers is Friday, November 13th. I will be there as the keynote speaker. So tune in next Monday morning when I bust the myths for new parents after baby arrives.